Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, hope is a wonderful life-giving thing. And it's why Proverbs tells us that hope deferred makes the heart sick. Uh, So let me ask you this question. Today, what are you hoping for or what are you hoping in? Because that will determine what kind of day and really what kind of life you're going to have. Colossians chapter 1, verse 27, the Apostle Paul clarifies the hope for us as believers in Jesus. He says, to them, that's us, God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. So so God has revealed the mystery of Jesus. We talked about that yesterday. God has revealed the mystery of Jesus, his death and resurrection as the means to salvation to us. And and Paul says, if Christ is in you, if you've come to that place where you've placed your faith and trust in him. Uh, In Romans 10, Paul says, if we confess with our mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we'll be saved. Jesus said, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have eternal life. Uh, The Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians 5 says, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things pass away. Behold, all things become new. So uh, if Jesus is your savior, then our hope is in the life that Jesus has promised. That is eternal life. That is the life that is to come. Now, I want you to understand this. It is not in this world. It is not in the life we have in this world. Uh, It's definitely not in the physical life, because if you're getting older, you already understand that. You're ready to trade in for the new body, and and you're looking forward to that day. Uh, Our hope is not in our riches. It's not in our success. It's not in our fame. It's not in our power. It's not even in our family. You know, some of us are kind of guilty of thinking our hope is in our family right up until the kids move out and don't want to hang out with us anymore. See, our hope is that because of Jesus, because of Jesus' death and resurrection, we are forgiven of our sins. We are made new in Christ. We are adopted as his children, and we are promised a life that is beyond our imagination, a life with no more suffering, sorrow, dying, pain, politics, broken relationships, betrayal, or despair. All of those things are done away with and all things are made new. It literally is a life beyond our imagination because we are creatures that are broken and we live in a broken world. And so it is our hope that we place our faith in Jesus and we place our hope in Jesus and say, hey, you know what? I can endure anything this world has to offer because like the Apostle Paul, I do not consider the present sufferings of this world worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us in Christ Jesus. You see, we can live differently because of the hope that is in us, and that is the person of Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord. See, when our hope is in Jesus, it changes our attitudes, it fills us with joy, and it clarifies our purpose. And today, I'm praying that you can live with that hope because Christ is in you. God bless.